For the past few weeks, our Angela Kennedy has been working to erase the stigma around addiction ever since her daughter Emily died from fentanyl poisoning. Today, Angela is spreading her story to even more people. Kettle and Sarah McDonald takes you to Willow Lake, where students listen to Angela's message. From middle school to high school, hundreds of students fill this school gymnasium in Willow Lake. They're here to listen to Angela Kennedy's story of loss. It just really touched base with a lot of kids because it actually happened around South Dakota, and South Dakota is a small state, and this happens everywhere. It could happen in your own community. When she was talking, it just like really made you realize how much this affects not only you, but also your family and your community. One of the key messages from today's presentation, speak up. If you have a friend that you know is using a substance that could be laced with fentanyl or could just be deadly on its own that's dangerous, you cannot worry about being a snitch, about making that person mad at you. You have to tell somebody. It just doesn't hurt you, it hurts the people that are around you. Students also are learning the dangers of using illegal drugs. Every time somebody chooses to use an illegal drug, they're playing Russian roulette because they don't know, they don't know if it's going to kill them or not. Because it's something that not only affects the person doing it, but also the people around you. I feel like that's a big thing about what she talked about today is that it's okay to go get help and to go talk to someone to go get help. In Willow Lake, Sarah McDonald, Kelloland News. If you want to learn more about Emily's Hope, we have provided a link under this story at Kelloland.com. Now, this weekend is National Prescription Drug Take Back Day. On Saturday, October 27th, law enforcement agencies across the country and here in Kelloland will offer a safe and easy way for you to throw out your unwanted or expired medications. Some of the agencies in South Dakota taking part include the Rapid City, Aberdeen, Brandon, and Yankton Police Departments. You can drop off your prescriptions from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. For a full list of places to drop off your prescription pills, head to this story at Kelloland.com.